Hello friends, Josh from Island L Mazda here. I am sitting in a 2024 Mazda CX-90 PHEV in the GT trim. So this is the plug-in hybrid. It is a fantastic vehicle. And uh, the purpose of today's video is just to show you a little bit of the interior. It is gorgeous and, uh, and I can't wait for you to see it. Without further ado, here it is. All right, check this out. Starting out with the door, just a fantastic little highlight here. Uh, nice soft touch black interior. It's got the, uh, the yellow pinstripes uh, throughout the interior cabin. And uh, of course our uh, power locks, power windows. Uh, we can uh, fold the mirrors in and um, everything is, is just exactly where you'd like it to be. Uh, moving on here to the fantastic integration of the dash with the door. Uh, it's uh, so stylish, so futuristic. It really is beautiful to look at. Um, down here below, we've got uh, a few features here. Uh, memory settings for the seats. Uh, we've got um, some sensors here. And of course, the, uh, the fuel door opener. Um, moving on up to uh, just behind the steering wheel. So we've got our uh, headlights here and uh, auto headlights as well as uh, auto high beams, which is really great to have. Um, we've got a button here to toggle through the trip meters, uh, odometer trip one and trip two, which is very standard. Um, and uh, you can see tucked in behind here, uh, paddle shifters. So that's, uh, that's an awesome feature to have. And of course, another paddle shifter on the other side. Um, so here we have uh, the buttons to change the, uh, the lighting. Let's get a focus on that. Um, the lighting on the dash. So turn that up, turn that down. And then of course, uh, here we have the, um, uh, the, uh, the bar for all of your, um, all of your wipers, rain sensing. Uh, of course, there's the auto button there, um, which is really nice to have. So um, onto the steering wheel. Um, over here, we've got our adaptive cruise setting as well as the other uh, cruise related buttons. And uh, of course, on the other side, we've got our audio system, as well as your voice command and uh, you know phone controls for calling and answering calls. Um, over here, we've got uh, our uh, power button. So keyless start, which is really nice. Um, starting at the top here, this screen is so well integrated into the dash. It's just uh, lovely to behold. Uh, not only is it clear and bright, um, or, you know, course can be muted brightness if you want to turn that down but um, it's it's high up on the dash so that while you're driving if you're looking at this uh, screen you don't have to take your eyes far away from the road in order to see uh, which of course is uh, you know really big on safety now um, we do have the heads-up display which you can't see uh, at this point but um, it uh, it comes out from a projector here and displays right up ahead so you can see your speed, you can see your uh, speed limit through your traffic sign recognition system, as well as cruise control settings and even um, navigation settings up there as well, right? Um, so moving down here, our HVAC system, we've got the auto as well as the sync functions, uh, your cold and hot, a heated steering wheel, heated and cooled front seats, and um, you've got your front and rear defrost. You can turn it off if you want to, uh, the, uh, the amount of air you want to receive. You're changing for a uh, change of modes as well as your um, um, recirculation. You can control the rear because this is a tri-zone climate control vehicle. And then of course the passenger front uh, cooled and heated as well as your AC. Um, we do have um, wireless charging station here, which is really nice to have. And uh, down here, our MI drive system. So this is where you'll find the Mazda drive modes. Uh, you can move between sport, normal, EV, and off-road. And um, there's even a button here for uh, you to prioritize charging of the battery if you, uh, if you feel that's necessary. We've got our hill descent assist and a button specific to the camera system. We've got a front facing camera, we've got the side facing cameras, as well as the backup camera, and uh, which integrated is basically 360 degree camera system. So that's really nice to have. Um, our, uh, our shifter here, which is great. Uh, we've got cup holders, also great. You can't go without those these days. Um, and so yeah, moving down a little bit lower, our electronic parking brake, 
auto hold our HMI or human machine interface controls everything up there on the screen and uh, shortcut buttons here to navigation um, to um, uh, entertainment your home screen and of course a physical back button if you need to uh, go back a screen or two and uh, over here we've got uh, our favorites button so it's a quick access to uh, the favorites that you have set already and also adding to your favorites list uh, at the same time so um, this button is really cool uh, this is a dedicated volume knob so you can see based on the um, the symbols here we can mute we can turn off the audio system we can change tracks forward and back and of course uh, control the volume there too um, so a nice uh, nice little look here around the interior of this cabin um, there is the uh, the passenger door just a wider view of what the doors look like uh, of course up here we've got our passenger seat just a gorgeous gorgeous leather interior uh, with those yellow highlights that really really stand out um, so Moving down here back to the console, we've got this uh, clamshell design. So really the idea here is that the driver can um, keep their elbow rested and comfortable while driving and the passenger can open up uh, their side of this to access anything that may be inside. So um, of course you can open up both and uh, in inside there you can see storage as well as the wave of the future here. Um, welcome Apple to, to this wave. Um, these are USB-C chargers, so that's lovely to have. Um, fast charging for sure. Um, now, I don't know how well you can see, but this here is our rear climate control system. And uh, there are heated second row captain's chairs. We've got um, USB-C chargers there as well. And of course, you can choose the temperature and the amount of air that you want to receive um, just using these controls down here. So. Um, Sweeping into the back here, you can see the all-weather floor mats, and of course there's the uh, the captain's chairs uh, for the second row. Um, fully uh, movable, adjustable armrests. You can change the angle, and you can also just fold them right up if you don't want them there. And uh, passes right through into the third row, and of course there you have it. It's um, yeah, it's beautiful back there, and um, the the light that comes through this vehicle is fantastic. Uh, we've got privacy screens. You can see right there. Uh, that's uh, the sort of pull out or the the button to not a button, but a like a handle to pull that up. And then of course it hooks onto the top there. And um, if we look up, look way up, there's the panoramic moonroof, which uh, you'll find in the CX-90s as well as the CX-50s. And uh, this front one, of course, is the sunroof that you can open up if you want to get some air. So. Um, sweeping back here through the front just a gorgeous interior look and uh, I'm happy to uh, to have shown this to you it really is uh, just a treat to sit in this vehicle and uh, and soak up all of what it has to offer so there you have it the 2024 Mazda CX-90 PHEV GT again this is the plug-in hybrid this is the GT the highest trim level available in this model and um, it for sure is a beautiful vehicle. Uh, if you have any questions about it, or if there's um, an opportunity for us to get together, for you to drive it and experience this, uh, this fantastic uh, marvel of comfort and technology, as well as style, uh, give me a call, 250-202-5674. Uh, having a great day here. I uh, can't wait to see you. 202 Josh, give me a call and we'll see you soon.